James Wan is on this video. I'm going to talk about this coffee. It's from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's called Kicking Horse. Stay tuned. So I do videos on coffee, wine, tea, spirits, and so forth, and beer. And it's really important to talk about all these together because I think if you like coffee, you'll like wine. If you like uh, beer, you'll like uh, tea. I think it's a uh, small ecumenical, small e ecumenical in terms of enjoying so many different uh, beautiful beverage art forms that we have today. Now, I just look a generation ago, which is about 14 years ago, you would have seen a great selection of coffee at any grocery store, not just in San Francisco, but throughout the United States and even Canada. And when you look at this, it's a really great place to be. And I think it's exciting. It's really wonderful. I used to be a food and wine marketing manager at a very large U.S. Uh, food wine retailer in 30 U.S. states. And for me, I think that's a really uh, a fantastic experience that I had. I really dipped my toe in so many parts of that business and uh, did coffee cuppings as well. So it's a really, I love coffee cuppings. A lot of people don't, but I think it's a way of really getting to the best coffee possible for your consumer. Now, this is a wonderful coffee that I just was in Albuquerque. I decided to buy this coffee because I didn't know anything about it. I don't buy locally roasted coffee in San Francisco because it's A, very expensive, and B, um, you know, I don't know if they need a lot of support uh, that they are. So Blue Bottle Coffee is owned by Nestle. You get the idea. Um, I really want to go out there and find smaller producers, and this is probably a larger producer, say, compared to my previous video where I talked about Picacho Roasters from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Now. I think you can find some great coffees throughout the United States. So when I'm traveling, so, you know, I think a lot of people get really perfected about what is local. Local for me is wherever I am and I'm buying that coffee or that product. I am not afraid to put it in a suitcase or a backpack and uh, ship it through because I think it's really important to taste these things. So perfection mindset in San Francisco, especially the Bay Area, where people are thinking that you can only have perfect coffee from say Portland or Seattle or San Francisco. That is not true. And I think that's the you know amazing thing about where we are today in terms of great coffee culture. Uh, a lot of these businesses are small or family owned or owned by an individual or a small group of individuals. It's really important to support that. So let me show you this uh, label here. Kicking Horse Coffee. I love the name, smart ass um, with a donkey with glasses on it. It's very, very cute. Medium roast, it says it's cheeky, bright and precocious. It is organic, USDA organic certified and fair trade. 10 ounces, roasted in Canada. And here's the back label. So this is a composition of African, Central, and South American coffees. And then for me, I just wanna know the portion of, of African content. I would say it could be one third, it could be a quarter, it doesn't say. And I really, really wanna know, is there Ethiopian coffee in here? I love Ethiopian coffee and I can never get enough of it. So I'm always excited to, to taste Ethiopian coffees wherever I am. So this coffee is really remarkable in terms of the price point. I think I paid under $9 for this coffee in San Francisco. If you go to one of the well-known producers and you buy a, a bag of coffee about the same size, you're gonna spend about $17. For me, I really don't wanna spend all my money just on coffee because there's a lot of things I need to buy. So first, the point score, 92 points out of 100 points. So in this coffee, I'm getting notes of ginger, uh, black uh, sesame seed for a savory quality, a bit of moist stones to this, uh, lavender as well, hint of flowers and citrus peel. Next, the flavor characterization. This is a medium roast. So for me, I think this is, you know, predominant Central South American blend with a bit of African, probably, I'm guessing, uh, Kenyan. This composition, which is mainly Central South American coffee and some African coffee, if I were to guess, I'm guessing it is Kenyan coffee that is composition of the African portion of this. And I'm getting uh, notes of uh, light, dark chocolate characterization, a bit of gingerbread note, uh, lavender and hazelnut spread. Very nicely done. Again, 92 points out of 100 points. I'll put more information on this producer down below. Questions and comments can be listed there as well. And uh, please uh, subscribe to my video channel right here. And the reason to do so is very simple. You'll see the latest videos that I am producing. And thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. You'll find me on a variety of social medias where we can connect as well, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Thank you for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Sante.